Hello guys, now let's try to solve the sentence similarity to problem. Let's see a statement. Given two sentences, uh, words 1, words 2, each represented as an array of strings, and the list of sim similar words pairs pairs. Determine if two sentences are similar. For example, words 1 equal to great acting skills, and uh, words 2, fine drama talent are similar. If the similar word pairs are pairs, great, good, fine, good, acting, drama, skills, talent. Now that similarity relation is uh, transitive. For example, if great and good are similar, and fine and good are similar, then great and fine are similar. Similarity is also symmetric. For example, great and fine being similar is the same as fine and great being similar. Also, a word is always similar with itself. For example, the sentences words one great, words two great, pairs, empty are similar, even though there are no specific similar similar words pairs. Finally, sentences can only be similar if they have the same number of words. So a sentence like words one great can never be similar to words two double plus good. Okay, so uh, the algorithm will like this. First, we check if the two given words have the same length. If not, we just return false. And then we will compare uh, the words pair by pair. If they, they are the same, then we continue compare. If not the same, we will try to check uh, if uh, there are the similar uh, words in the pairs. So how to quickly check if they are connected, which means they have the similar relation. The very intuitive uh, thinking is to build a graph. Basically, this is a graph problem. And uh, as they are transitive, so we can do the depth first search to check uh, given two words uh, whether they are the similar. Uh, so basically, this is the check if the two words are connected in the graph. So we can use depth first search or we can use the union find. In this solution, I will use that first search. Okay, so uh, let's do it. So at first, if words one dot length not equal to words uh, words two dot length, I just return false. Else, I will call a build graph function to build a graph. So how do we represent the graph? We will use agency list and for the fast to check if the contents in the graph, uh, we will use a hash map and hash setup because the asymptotic complex will be constant to look up a word. So the key will be string and the value will be string set. New hash map. And then we will build graph. We will pass the pairs and the graph and then for we will get the numbers will be the uh, words uh, words one dot length and for int i equal to zero i less than an i plus plus um if the words one uh, words one i equals to the words two uh, i we just continue because they are the same. And if uh, and then we will do a depth first search to see if they are connected. So we will pass the words one i and the words two i and the graph. Also, as we build this graph, we will put the the two uh, words into the graph. So we need another weighted set to check if we already weighted, or we will uh, it will have the state overflow problem. So we we'll need a hash set. That is a weighted, um, weighted set. So if uh, we will not find, we just simply return false. Finally, we return true. So let's implement the two functions, which is the build graph 
and we will parse the string pairs. And we also like to parse the um, graph. Okay, for uh, each pair in the pairs, uh, we'll do putter if absent the pair zero and the new hash set and the putter if because they are the symmetric so we will uh, put both of these two into our graph new hash set and then uh, get the pair 0 add the pair 1 the same to get the pair uh, 1 add the pair 0 ok now we build this graph then we will implement the buffer search return type should uh, depth search return type should be boolean because we will check if they are connected and the worth 1 and the worth 2 and the, the graph Uh, also, we need a hash set that's a mark if the word we have visited. So basically, if if the g gets the s one equal to none, or g gets the s one dot uh, size equal to zero, which means we will never find. So we just return false. Uh, and else, if the G gets the S1 directly contains the S2, we return true. If not the case, we will check the neighbors of the S1. For every neighbor of the G gets the S1, we will do the depth first search. If visited contains, we just use add. If, if visited add, um, equal to the force we return uh, we just continue and if add, uh, the neighbor is true which means it haven't visited it we just uh, do the depth first search if uh, the DFS the neighbor has two G and the visited equal to true we just uh, return true if all of them we have unlikely so we just return force in the end. Okay. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.